How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we've got a little bit of a different type of video where I'm going to be talking about all sorts of future content in Horizon 4. What I think about it and what we can all do as a community to hopefully make a difference to the future of Horizon 4. On screen right now I'm going to have a few little topic titles I'm going to be touching on in today's video so if one of them interests you more then you can skip to it and then you can come back to the ones and such and such but I recommend you listen to most of them because I'm talking about lots of different various things today. Now I am just going to jump straight into it with the first topic which is kind of joined with the second one but I want to talk about the first one just real quick because lots of people feel the same as I do. The car pass in Forza Horizon 4, I don't believe, has been good enough. If we have a look on screen right now of the Forza Horizon 4 car pass, you'll see that we got promised 42 free cars for the car pass owners. And by the way, the car pass costs about $30 or about £20. So, you know, it's not too cheap. But the car pass started off all right. Around launch, we got the Koenigsegg Agera RS off the bat. Now, that was a good car. And then we got the Mazda RX-7 here. A, a Nissan Sentra Nismo, you know, these were all right. And then there was stuff like this that, you know, meh. i8 Roads is also all right. To be fair, these four are also decent as well. The Aston Martin Vantage, the McLaren 650F Spy, the Ferrari FXX, this was a good bunch here. This was very exciting and good. But towards the end, in my opinion, it got very, very weak. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to the car pass, a thing that people have actually paid real money for, the cars there, they have to be cars that people will drive over and over again, or at least even think about. And the thing is, with over half of the cars in the car pass, I never see them anywhere. The, the very first car that came with the Koenigsegg, the Triumph, I never see anyone drive that. All the other Triumphs, I never see anyone drive those. All the old trucks, the old vans, the Koenigseggs, the old Porsches, you just don't see anybody drive them. It's because it's a type of car that people jump in once, think, eh, that's all right, and then they never jump in again. And that's one car out of the 42 that you've paid for that you're never going to use again, which I don't think is, is correct with the car pass. I think it needs to be pretty much full of cars that you'll drive over and over and over again. The thing is, I know people will argue and they will say that there's not enough cars that they can add that are exciting, but I will disagree. There is. Think of it this way. What about the exclusive cars that they add to the game through championships in the Forzathon shop? There's a lot of cars there that are very exciting. The Hot Wheels Mustang cars, the Mosler, the KTM Expo or whatever it's called. These were all brand new cars that got added into the game for free through championships. Instead of being cut in the car pass, they're just given to everyone for free. So the car pass owners get stuck with rather weak cars while everyone gets access to free brand new cars through championships that are the type of cars that you'll drive over and over again. So over 20 of the cars are just kind of just, they seem like filler cars that they've just kind of filled in um, empty spaces, which I don't understand. It doesn't feel too good to be sitting back and seeing these brand new exclusive cars being added to the game, but being given to everyone through a championship instead of being put in the car pass for car pass owners. We've had the Mosler, we've had the KTM, we've had all the Hot Wheels vehicles. That's just a short example of really, really good super high-end supercars that they've added to the game for the first time, but for everyone, instead of having these exclusive cars in the car pass, which would make sense. Instead, we get stuck with old transit vans and weird-looking Hillmans. Now, I don't have anything against these old cars. They're all right, they're enjoyable, and they're classic. Lots of people would think the same. Now, I looked back on Forza Horizon 2 yesterday, and the amount of good cars in their car packs was insane. Forza Horizon 2 was filled with the latest and greatest supercars and hypercars in their car packs. Fast and Furious editions of cars, they were going ham. But in Horizon 4, so far, doesn't seem good enough. However, I think we can make a difference to this, and hopefully give Forza a bit of a kicking. This kind of moves on to topic two now. There are many, many exclusive and brand new cars to come in Forza Horizon 4. There obviously is, they're not going to stop here. Um, but most of the cars will be added through the exclusive cars and everything. And lots of people still complain that they just still don't add any of the latest creators' cars, like the Lamborghini Performante, some of the Apollos, which they might not have permission to add, but the Performante and just certain cars like that. People have been begging for those and they're not doing it which is why I think we can all make a difference to this 
by doing the following. Lots and lots of people are completely unaware of the Forza Motorsport forums. Believe it or not, if you go to forums.forzamotorsport.net, there is an entire forum on every single Forza title to date. If you go to the Forza Horizon 4 tab, all sorts of topics to go on, but more importantly, there are threads where we can suggest cars for the DLCs and features as well. This thread for the car wishlist of Forza Horizon 4 was made over a year ago and it only has 1,800 replies, 1,800 suggestions. Now 1,800 comments is not much. It's only got 100,000 views in over a year. AR12 Gaming's videos get way more views than that on a daily basis. Which is why I don't think many people actually know about this forum site. So, what we can do as a community is we can start posting on these threads. Everyone, go to the links in the description, go to the Forza Motorsport forums, go to the car wishlist thread, and let's start suggesting some really, really good cars. Because they tell us to. Whenever in the, let's say, the Forza update live streams on YouTube, whenever people comment, oh, please add this to the game, please add this to the game, they always usually reply with, oh, you know, suggest it on the forum, suggest it on the forum. They don't look at Twitter for car suggestions, they don't look at YouTube, they look on the forum. So that's what we all need to do as a community. There are certain people, like this geezer here, he's suggesting some pretty good cars. He's suggesting the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider, the 600 LT Spider, Audi TT RS Coupe, all brand new 2020 cars. And this guy's right. These are the type of cars we would love to see. So guys, we need to work together. We all need to start being active on these forums because there's nowhere near enough comment. Oh my God, look how many cars this guy's suggested. There's nowhere near enough. If we can all work as a team and start properly suggesting these good cars together on these forums, then they have no excuse for not adding them. They have no excuse for adding these random weird filler cars but the threads are sticky, which means they've purposely been pinned to the top, which means probably that they keep an eye on them. So that's mainly what I've made this video for, to be honest. I really want the future of Forza Horizon 4 to be really good, and I want all of us to make a difference to it and start putting our feet down for them to add some really, really good cars that they may not even know that we want because no one uses the forums. As I said, this forum has had 1,800 suggestions in over a year. And I know this video is going to get more than 1,800 views. So everyone watching this, go to the forum, sign in with your Xbox account. You can get some rewards on this website as well. It's pretty cool. Now, the third topic I'd like to quickly touch on is all about Toyota and all of the leaked cars that are supposedly coming in the future of Horizon 4. As we'll know, a couple of, it must have been a couple of months ago now, Mitsubishi was added back to Forza Horizon 4, which took everyone by surprise. Out of nowhere, in 24 hours they announced it and released it, just like that. It was pretty cool. And now we've all been kind of wondering, are they going to add Toyota back as well? Now, the Forza update live streams are full of people begging for Toyota, but believe me when I say it, Playground Games have no say in it. It's Toyota that don't want the cars in the game, not Playground Games. They want Toyota in the game but they're not allowed to. I did a video talking about both Mitsubishi and Toyota a few months back, and I said, to be honest, I don't think either are gonna come back, and I was obviously wrong about Mitsubishi, but I'm saying it now, do I think Toyota's gonna come back? I still think it's very, very unlikely. We had quite a few different bits of evidence that Mitsubishi was gonna come back, and people spotted it in the live stream. People spotted the Mitsubishi cars in the live streams, but which didn't confirm they were coming back because they were playing on a dev build. But the fact that we've not seen Toyota at all, even on the dev build, that tells me that it's probably not coming back, at least anytime soon. About the rumours as well of Toyota coming back, don't believe any of them. If there was some solid evidence that Toyota was coming back, I'm pretty sure lots of the big YouTubers would be focusing on it, including me. But I'm just here to say, don't believe everything you read online. Another point I want to um, touch on. Everyone at Playground Games know that we want Toyota a lot more than Mitsubishi. We want Mitsubishi, but we want Toyota just a little bit more. And if you remember, they actually hinted that Mitsubishi was going to be added back in their tweets. And the first letter of each tweet added up to Mitsubishi. 
I'll try and find a screenshot of that and put it on screen, but it was pretty cool. So it was pretty cool that they did that. Before they even announced it, they were kind of leaving Mitsubishi clues everywhere. Now the thing is, now they've left clues for Mitsubishi, everyone is going to be looking around for clues for Toyota, which they're going to know that. They are going to know that we're going to look around for clues of Toyota coming back as well. What I'm trying to say is if they're going to go through the effort of leaving clues for a potential car pack coming like Mitsubishi, they're going to choose to do it with Toyota instead of Mitsubishi. But they didn't. They did it to Mitsubishi. They left clues for Mitsubishi and that was it. And that tells me that Toyota's not coming back because of something as big as Toyota, they would want to do something cool like leave clues about, but they can't do that now because everyone's going to be looking around for them on a daily basis. And the fact that they've done that tells me that Toyota have yet to go back to Playground Games and telling them, we want our cars back in the game. I don't think that's happened yet. It will probably happen eventually. So yeah, I've kind of been rambling on in today's video, but I like doing these type of videos to keep you all up to date and to try and do my best to get everyone together to make a difference to the future of Horizon 4. When I saw those forums and I saw that it only had a couple of thousand replies, it just made me think, really? I'm hoping this video hits the recommended section of YouTube quite well so it can get as many views as possible and as many people can start joining the forum and start suggesting cars because not many people do it and this that's where they look for the suggestions and nobody does it. So please guys let me know in the comment section below what you think of the car pass, what you think it was like, what cars you want to see in the future and if you will go to the forum and start being active on there like I'm going to be. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and I'll see you all later.